after selecting the site or the onion site after making sure that you've considered all that it takes to have the best onion site where you are going to raise your seedlings now you come to the real job which is uh, nursery preparation and you need to be very cautious when preparing the nursery uh, one the things that you need to avoid um, during nursery preparation is don't do your nurseries where there is a lot of manure where there was a heap of manure in don't do your nurseries there because at the end of it the seedlings become so much affected by uh, the nitro the high nitrogen in that that place also don't do your nurseries in a place where you've uh, you have done uh, the crop of the same family in previous cropping avoid that place so when choosing the, the nursery one thing you need to consider is the soil the digging of the soil as you can see i've already done uh the soil has already been dug and um now uh, when digging the soil there is something you need to consider and uh, these are among the biggest points you need uh, to look at you can use you can use these two tools when when it comes to preparation of the of your nursery these are the tools that we use uh we, this fork jembe and the jembe i don't know what how you call them uh, at your place but this is what you use and when digging when digging for your nurseries uh, like i told you these seedlings are not growing uh, their root is not growing more than 15 centimeters so it's between 10 to 15 centimeters that is where their root is growing so when you do a double digging when you do a double digging of this jembe that means you are you are digging around 40 centimeters when you turn the soil you double dig with using this you're turning your soil uh, 40 centimeters so just do a single digging turn the soil just turning the soil 10 to 15 centimeters turn the soil you see you've all, I've already done that only that I'm demonstrating turn the soil 10 to 15 centimeters because that where the seedling is going to develop its root and that is the most nutritious part of the soil that the part of the soil that carries a lot of nutrient so turn that that that, that uh, place if you have manure turn it with manure um, then after turning it that where now you come and set your your nursery um when setting the nursery uh, one thing uh, i usually do with my nursery is uh, all my nursery have a width of around uh, one meter for example this one here you see this one here where i'm tying the loops from one one uh in but this one is is uh 80 centimeters is not even one meter this one is 80 centimeters from one one line to the other the reason why i usually hand college have a a, a, a a bed wind of not more than one meter is so that when working like when uh, uprooting or when weeding on your nursery or when watering those will be using manual watering you won't step on top of the nursery so the wind of the nursery nursery should be very uh, precise should not be more than one meter unless you are using other means of weeding your nurseries you are using other means of um, irrigating your nurseries but it's illegal or it's not allowed to step where the seedlings are the way i'm stepping at the moment to control uh, the weed or to do the irrigation so you need to consider that when preparing the nursery then from there you raise your nursery you just raise a small heap don't raise a big heap uh, like for example this one the, the heap that i've raised not more than it's around uh, around 15 10 to 15 centimeters raise the heap and you are going to go you are going to go for example in this area where we we have uh, we've done we have done the stringing we these are we usually raise the, our heap you see it's bringing the soil that is on the on the on the on the on the on the lower side on top of the bed
as simple as that. That string needs to be tightened. You see? You lace the hip. When you lace the hip now, you have already subdivided your bed plus the walking pad. So the next um, bed will be few centimeters, around 20 to 30 centimeters from here. So you've already uh, demarcated your land, made the bed, the walking pad, the bed, and you are good to go. From there, you also need to work on uh, making sure that your bed is very smooth. As you can see, this one is very large. You can, you can uh, use two tactics to make sure you have a smooth bed. One, you can knock or hit the, the big soil, uh, soil uh, crowds and break them into small particles. Then after there, you can flatten your beds. But in my case, I usually use, um, I, use I usually do the irrigation, soften the soil on the top, then do the licking. For example, uh, in this bed here, this bed here that um, I'm doing the, the sowing of the seed drinks, this is how it's after irrigating, it's very simple after irrigating the, the soil. It's very simple, this how I flatten my bed. See how simple it is, because the soil is very loose. Instead of knocking the, the big crowns, but if you have no water, you can knock them and make sure that uh, your soil is good, good to go. So this is how we flatten the bed because we want to, to sow the seeds at a very uh, smooth area, at a very smooth area. So this is how we do it. Simple as that. As simple as that. Very simple, very simple. Very simple, as simple as that. As simple as that. So, When we say a flat, when we say uh, a soft landing ground, that's how we prepare our soil, that's how we prepare our bed. Then we go to the next activity, which, is, which is, will be uh, formation of the drills and all the planting area. So there are some farmers who may choose to do the broadcasting of the seeds and drop them the way they are. But in my case, I usually uh, form the drills and uh, drop the seeds. That's our second episode on onion farming. If you have not watched the first episode, you can go back and watch. Uh, more episodes coming uh, so that we can better our farming, so that we can be better farmers. If this is your first time that you're watching me, don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel so that we can continue learning together. Bye.